Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In today's video, I'll show you the best video settings for Minecraft Hill Launcher 1.21. And as you can see right now, I've got over 1000 FPS, which is pretty good. And I'll show you how to get it. So let's get right into that. So right now I'm in the T Launcher 1.21. And what we are going to do is to press escape, go to the options, video settings. And uh, here is where the magic comes. So. Uh, first of all, we should take a look on the biome blend and let's make it off. Well, let's make it fastest because we don't really need it. And if we go to the graphics, the fabulous one is the best one or for this case is the worst one because it will impact a lot on your computer. So just turn off it, turn it or that turn that graphics to fast. And when it comes to render distance for me, it works. Uh, eight, six, that works the best for me we take a look on the fps it's 800 something around it and as you can see you can see pretty far so it's not that bad but if you've got a really low low end pc i would recommend 5.5 and i'll show you why because 5.5 is not that bad you get you can see pretty far but if you just use 2.5 just look at that yeah so i wouldn't be playing just like that so it's awful so I would recommend 5.5, but for this tutorial, I will use 8.6 because that's one, but that's the best one uh, for me. So when it comes to, to, when it comes to the smooth lighting, you would actually leave that on because it doesn't really impact uh, the FPS. Uh, max frame rate, I would definitely leave that on unlimited. Uh, V-Sync, yeah, uh, I would probably turn it on because people always are telling me that uh, you should turn it on and stuff like that i'll show you what it does uh, it basically locks your fps on the hertz uh, i've got 145 hertz monitor so it uh, locks the fps on 144 if you've got a 60 hertz monitor you it would be locked on 60. so this pretty much depends on uh, how much uh, hertz your monitor has and I, I think it's useless, but many people are recommended, uh, recommends it. So you can definitely turn it off uh, on. I, I'll leave that on you, but I want to do that. And when we get to the view bobbing, I'll show you what it does. But, uh, if you turn that on and when you're walking, you can see the camera shakes and everything looks pretty natural. But when we turn it off, just look at that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awful. It looks like you would be flying just, just on the ground. So I don't really uh, like this, so I would definitely turn it on and it doesn't really impact the performance. So you can you can just turn it on. No worries about that. Uh, about the Kai scale, you can turn it, uh, leave it to auto. Attack indicated crosshair or hot bar, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this doesn't really matter. And when it comes to brightness, I will leave that on bright. However, uh, if you are playing survival and you don't want to make 24 forges, it's it's good to use like 80 uh, but it depends on you i would definitely use bright just for a normal gameplay if we get to the clouds i won't turn that off because it doesn't it doesn't really impact the fps like it does but not in that scale so i would use uh, fast clouds because at least there is something if you turn it off it looks totally awful. Yeah, I, I don't really like it. So I would use fast. Where is it? Okay. Uh, yes, make sure you have full screen. It gives you additional FPS. Trust me in this. When it comes to the particles, I would use minimal. Midmap levels off. And that's basically everything. We use into the shadows. So leave that on. And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. So thank you so much guys for watching this video about t launcher video settings for t launcher 1.21 and thank you so much and see you in the next one.